please remain standing for the national anthem of Sri Lanka and the national anthem of Australia. to invite Professor Jeremy Kilburn, Provost of Curtin University, to deliver the official welcome. On behalf of the Chancellor, the Council, and all members of the Curtin University community, I am delighted to welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I would also like to welcome our guest speaker, His Excellency Paul Stevens, Australian High Commissioner to Sri, to Sri Lanka, 
and other notable guests, including Chancellor Professor Lakshman Rafnaika, Vice Chancellor Professor Lalith Kamagi, Deputy Vice Chancellor Global from Curtin University, Professor Xiaotian Zhang, Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor and Provost of SLIIT, Professor Nimal Rajapakse, CEO SLIIT International, Dr. Atullah Pitagala Araki, Pro Vice Chancellor International, SLIIT International, Professor Mahesha Kapurubandara, Pro Vice Chancellor, Faculty of Business and Law, Curtin University, Professor Vanessa Chang, Deans of Faculty, Heads of School, Members of Academic and Administration Staff of SLIIT and Curtin, Parents, and of course, graduates and other invitees. Today marks a significant milestone in the, journal, in the journey of our graduands, a day that is meant for celebration, reflection, and recognition. As you look back on your time here, I encourage you to take pride in your accomplishments and to celebrate this momentous achievement with your loved ones. We acknowledge and celebrate the dedication, commitment, and hard work that have brought you to this point, and we extend our heartfelt gratitude to your families friends and lecturers for their unwavering support throughout your academic journey. Indeed, you are all graduating from a world-leading university that takes immense pride in its achievements. Curtin's university, Curtin University's accomplishments have been numerous and noteworthy. Among them is the enduring 20-plus year partnership between SLIIT and Curtin, a partnership that has not only been successful and prosperous, but has also inspired countless students to pursue higher education, expand their knowledge, and prepare for future employment opportunities. We also take great pride in our growing alumni community of over 2,000 students in Sri Lanka, each of whom has completed a world-class degree with Curtin while residing locally in Sri Lanka. As Curtin alumni, you join an ever-growing alumni of over 280,000 students worldwide. Curtin remains fully committed to nurturing and educating the leaders of tomorrow in collaboration with SLIIT. The partnership between our institutions continues to thrive year upon year, building upon the successes of the past and laying the foundation for a brighter future for all of our students. So in closing, I would like again to congratulate this year's graduates and we look forward to continuing this journey together with you into the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Kilburn. It is my pleasure to invite Dr. Nuan Kodagoda, the Acting Pro Vice Chancellor, Faculty of Computing, to introduce our first group of graduates. I invite Professor Jeremy Kilburn, the Provost of Curtin University, to present the awards. Provost, it's my honor to present the following graduates for the Bachelor of Soft Computing, Software Engineering. Abdul Salim Mohammed Tashneem. <laughs> Harshi Kasundi Bandar Nayak. Sahas Renuja Gunasekara. Sanuji Upanya Pereira. Abdul Rahamun Abdul Ali. Chamodi Hansika Seniviratna. Sakun Veera Singha. Harishi Bharatan Sivasundaram.
Ishar Umyanga Gomas. Sashen Tenuja Ganeli Gedera. Naveen Gunatilika. Netmi Navanga Silva. Agbo Mendis Gunasekara. Kathir Subramaniam. Munas Barak Ahmad. Udara Lakshita Prabodha Lianage. Pasan Inuka Singha Arachige. Dinit Kaushalya. Sashini Sadiba Supun Shamika Kumara Singer In absentia, Kalpani Dilara, Kumari Amaratunga, Manisha Siumini, Navisha Divyangi, Vishmi Chalanika Kalansuria, Kaluara Chige, Dulka Mitalka. Provost, that concludes the presentation of Bachelor of Computing graduates. Provost, it is my honor to present the following graduates for the Bachelor of Science, Computer Systems and Networking. Himet Bimutu Samaranayaka. <laughs> Tamindu Deepti Deshan Handapangoda. Provost, it is my honor to present the following graduates for the Bachelor of Science Computing. Pasindu Lakpriya Virakon. Mitsara Chamika Induvara. Hashiki Ishani Pereira. Tisuri Anjali Pereira. <laughs> Provost, that concludes the presentation of Bachelor of Science graduates. Provost, it's my honor to present the following graduates for the Bachelor of Information Technology. Shamila Janit. Gamlat Gay Binija Ransika Vijay Sirivardana In absentia. Pujan Visula Gamarachi. 
Provost, that concludes the presentation of Bachelor of Information Technology graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nuan Kodagoda. It is my pleasure to invite Professor Saman Tilakasiri, Dean, Faculty of Engineering, to introduce the Bachelor of Engineering graduates. I invite Professor Jeremy Kilburn to present the awards. Provost, it is my pleasure to present the following graduates for Bachelor of Engineering, Construction and uh, Civil Engineering, all honors received. Glyn Mario Kanishka Abhayavardhan. <laughs> Chamira Abhilasha Vikramasuri. Tamindu Navam Panditarata. Chitmal Chanit Javardhan. Mohammed Amanullah Mohammed Yusuf Omar. Tirina Tilanka Lienaki Pandini Tiyama Udunu Panu Mohammed Asaf Nityamul <laughs> Mutumali Situmini Habukasat <laughs> Stefania Jaste. Kevin Anumita Di Silva. <laughs> Dinita Kavisha Rat Anavir. Naveen Lakshita Silva. <laughs> Mohammed Infas, Mohammed Frad. In absentia, Amnaikam Arachilagi Don Ayesha Muanga, Punsara Devmini Kumari Ajapakse, Mahesha Naveen Pandara Vijay Vedagidar. Provost, it is my pleasure to present the following graduates for Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. The following receive honors. Minura Manjit Jayavikram. <laughs> R. 
Ranjul, Ranjuka, Ranbin, Batuwata. Udul, Piyumina, Bandara, Ekanayaka. Samita Kasun Madhushan Rajapaksa. Tinal Nimanka Amanugam. Ubudini Proboda Piratna. Mudita Tamara Kunaratna. Nisanga Nisanga Damin Arosha Mendis. Asindu Asenia Katukampe In absentia, the following receive first class honors Kalinga Kasun Muranga Di Silva, the following receive honors Niraj Angelo Silva. Provost. It is my pleasure to present the graduates for Bachelor of Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering. The following receive first class honors. Udarshana Achinta Vimalaratna. Moksha Darshani Tarani Rodrigu. Yasita Banuka Handana Rachi Sachin Abhishek Sasindan. Savindu, Rabin Shankar, Rabisha, Denuvar, Devunu, uh, Devundar Lienagi. <laughs> Nadun, Chambira, Malawadu. Pavani Hansika Hansika Vibadu Lienagi <laughs> Dinil Senuru Kulatunga <laughs> Tarana Prabodha Chandrapala. Chamat Navoda Indiver Chenali and Chavardar
Ramit Kumanchana Vijay Singh. Kadehitike Mahela. Niharu Seha Senan Kanyarchi. Hasindu Himansha Kulasekar. Lahiru Madhushan Silva. Tarindu Ashan Silva. In absence chair, Dulaj Kavisha Jayamaha. Provost, that concludes the presentation of Bachelor of Engineering graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tilakasiri. That concludes the presentation of graduates of this ceremony. I now invite Professor Mahesha Kapurubandara, Pro Vice Chancellor International of SLIT International, to introduce the ceremony's prizes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present the recipients of the awards and prizes. I invite His Excellency Paul Stevens, the Australian High Commissioner, to present the awards and prizes. I would also like to invite Professor Jeremy Kilburn, Provost of Curtin University, Professor Xiaotian Zhen, Deputy Vice Chancellor Global of Curtin University, Professor Lakshman Ratnayaka, Chancellor of SLIT, Professor Lalit Gamage, Vice Chancellor of SLIT, and Professor Jonathan Paxman, Head of School, Civil and Mechanical Engineering, to join the presentation party. Provost, I present the following recipient for the Curtin Award for Excellence of Bachelor of Engineering Honours, Mechanical Engineering in Absentia. Kalinga Kasun Mayuranga De Silva. Provost, I present the following recipient for the Curtin Award for Excellence in Bachelor of Engineering Honours, Civil and Construction Engineering. Stefania Justin. presentation part. Provost, I present the following recipient for the Curtin Award for Excellence in Bachelor of Engineering Honours, Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Uddarshana Achinta Vimalaratna.
Brewers, I present the following recipient for the 13th award for excellence in Bachelor of Computing, Software Engineering. Harshi Kasundi Bandaranai. I present the following recipient for the 13th award for excellence in Bachelor of Information Technology in Absentia. Poojan Visula Gamarachi. Thank you, Professor Kate Brooks. To present the 13 alumni awards, I invite 13 alumni Sri Lanka chapter president, Ms. Sangha Senivaratna, to join the presentation party. I present the following recipient for the 13 alumni Sri Lanka chapter award for engineering, Stefania Justin. I present the following recipient for the 13 alumni Sri Lanka chapter award for computing, Sahas Renuja Gunasekar. This concludes the presentation of awards for this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mahesh Kapoor Bandar. I now invite Professor Xiaotian Zhang, Deputy Vice Chancellor Global of Curtin University to deliver the commencement speech and the graduate charge. On behalf of the Council of Curtin University, I offer my warmest congratulations to our graduates. The award certificate that you received today recognize the significant effort that you have made towards achieving your goal, so display it proudly. Now may I ask the graduates to please stand while I read the charge. To those of you who have graduated or received awards, I offer the congratulations of the university on your new status, and I welcome you to a lifetime membership of the Curtin alumni community. I now charge you by the common bond that unites us all to uphold Curtin's values, integrity, respect, courage, excellence, and impact. I trust wherever your path takes you in the future, that your life will be happy and fruitful, not only for you, but also for those around you. It is the university's great honor to remain connected with each of you for many years to come. On behalf of Curtin University Council, I thank you all for sharing in this celebration. Thank you, graduates. Please be seated. We are extremely proud of the achievements of our graduates 
And now I ask all the families and friends in our audience and the stage party members to please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Xiaotian. I now invite our chief guest, His Excellency Paul Stevens, the Australian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, to address the gathering. Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge the Provost of Curtin University, Professor Jeremy Kilburn, Deputy Vice-Chancellor Goebel, Curtin University, Professor Xiaotian Zhang, Chancellor of SLIT, Professor Lakshman Ratnayaka, Vice-Chancellor of SLIT, Professor Lalit Gamagay, as well as all uh, Curtin and SLIT academic and administ administrative staff, uh, distinguished guests, parents, and most importantly, today's graduates. It's an honour to be your chief guest uh, at this Curtin Colombo convocation. Education ties are an extremely important part of the bilateral relationship between Australia and Sri Lanka, and these ties date back almost as far as Sri Lanka's independence, when Australia provided scholarships to Sri Lankan students under the groundbreaking Colombo Plan which helped build a legacy of academic exchange, friendship and cooperation that continues to this day. And now, under the new Colombo Plan, which the Australian Government introduced in 2014, Australian undergraduates have the opportunity to travel to the region for study and internship opportunities that enhance their knowledge of Sri Lanka and build lasting networks and cultural understanding. So the Australian uh, Sri Lanka Education Partnership is really a vibrant and a two-way exchange. Today there are over 30 Australian education providers operating in the Sri Lankan market. They have built a strong reputation for delivering quality curricula and enjoyable student experiences. Curtin University and SLIT are key players in this market. Located in the beautiful Indian Ocean city of Perth in Western Australia, Curtin University is ranked in the top 1% of universities worldwide or in the top 200 globally, according to international rankings. Curtin is a global university known for its research, industry partnerships and commitment to producing career-ready graduates. Curtin numbers over 50,000 students, 3,000 staff, more than 80 partner institutions and 90 exchange partners. For its part, SLIT has officially placed in the top 750 of Asian higher education institutions. It produces highly employable graduates in IT and other industries with a 96% employability rate within six months of course completion. SLIT also benefits from strong partnerships with industry partners. Together, the partnership between Curtin and SLIT is a success story. This partnership began in, in 2000, offering Curtin degree programs in Sri Lanka and since then has produced over 2,000 graduates. In 2020, the partnership was further strengthened to deliver full Curtin University degree programs in computing and engineering at the Curtin Colombo campus. I must also take this opportunity to acknowledge the overall quality of Australia's international education sector. Australia is a recognised world leader in international education and one of the most popular destinations for students globally. International students appreciate the education and lifestyle opportunities that Australia provides. Reputable global rankings consistently place many of Australia's universities among the best in the world, with nine ranked in the top 100 and 15 in the top 200. Accordingly, Australia is among the top destinations for Sri Lankans studying abroad and there are currently around 16,000 Sri Lankan students in Australia, which exceeds the pre-COVID numbers, and we expect to see this number continue to rise. 
Sri Lankan students are very welcome in Australia. They are known for their hard work and dedication and their presence makes a valuable contribution not just to the life uh, of the university at which they are studying but also to Australia's rich and diverse multicultural society. To the 77 students here today graduating from the class of 2024, 33 graduating in computing and 44 in engineering, I offer my sincere congratulations. You now form the 21st batch of students graduating from Curtin University in Sri Lanka. As you reflect on the learnings and the ups and downs and ultimately the culmination of your achievements with the awarding of degrees today, I hope you will take satisfaction in the enhanced skills you have acquired and employability you enjoy. That will springboard you towards the next stage of your education or your careers. In this respect, I would encourage you to consider the contribution you can make to your own country as it continues to re recover from crisis and move toward a stronger growth trajectory. Sri Lanka's government has an ambitious agenda to make the economy more agile and export-oriented, taking advantage of Sri Lanka's strategic location, location on important trade routes in the growing Indian Ocean region and nearby to large and prospective markets. Your newly acquired skills and qualifications in computing and engineering are well suited to this effort. However you choose to make use of these skills and qualifications, I hope you will first have the opportunity to reflect positively on your achievements and a job well done. I offer my congratulations to you all again and I wish you the very best for your futures. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Ex Excellency. It is my pleasure to introduce Kasundi Bandaranayaka to speak on behalf of the graduating class. Kasundi graduated today with Bachelor of Computing, Software Engineering, degree with a distinction. Please welcome Kasundi to the podium. Thank you, Ms. Chatri. Good morning, our honorable chief guests, Australian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, His Excellency Paul Stevens, Provost, Curtin University Australia, Professor Jeremy Kilburn, Chancellor, SLIIT, Professor Lakshman Ratnayaka, Vice Chancellor, SLIIT, Professor Lalit Gamage, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Global, Curtin University Australia, Professor Shatin Chang, and esteemed guests, from Curtin University, Curtin Colombo, and SLIIT, alumni, dear parents, and the amazing, amazing class of 2024. First off, <laughs> I think we deserve a kudos and a bravos for the graduating class because we have completed a significant milestone in our collective journey for the past few years. So I'd like to ask all of you to give the graduating batch a round of applause. Yes. So congratulations. We have made it past the final hurdle without a hitch. Today is a day about celebrating our victories, reminiscing the good old fond days, and most importantly, it's about acknowledging the challenges and the sacrifices that turned us into the awesome bunch we are today. Standing here as your valedictorian, I realized that we passed too many years since we first crossed our paths. And I've been thinking about it from yesterday as well, that it's mind boggling how this time last year, we were just getting ready for the first semester of our final year. And fast forward, here we are in our black caps and gowns all set for graduation. And I think that's pretty cool of us. Um, we are all here with our tales to tell, our own exciting adventures that makes our time here at Curtin a truly unique one. And I'm hoping that some of you guys can relate to this, but my story had a little bit of a recurring theme. Every semester, and I mean every semester, I tell myself, Kasumi, this is your semester. You're going to be a total academic weapon. You're going to go to your lectures, you're going to take your notes, 
you are going to revise on time, you are going to start your assignments without procrastinating, and most importantly, you go to the library to actually study. And to give myself some credit, I start off pretty well. I mean, I got my timetables and my schedules in Notion, but I don't know, for some reason, I turn into a total academic victim instead, despite my many manifestation affirmations saying otherwise. Because, let's be real, the coursework here at Curtin is definitely no joke. I vividly remember um, two weeks past mid sems is right around the time where assignments from all modules pile in, and we're glued to our laptops, switching from this module to that, trying to submit them all on time. But looking back, I'm grateful for those assignments because these were great learning experiences. That being said, I started my journey at Curtin as a 19-year-old who didn't know much about software engineering and trying my best to blend into the background of our lectures because I was afraid that if I opened up my mouth, I'd embarrass myself in front of these very new faces. And back then, I'm, I'm being very real when I say this, C was just the third letter of the alphabet. It wasn't a programming language for me. So that's how it was. But during my time here at Curtin, I found a genuine passion for software engineering and problem solving. So much so that I'm currently pursuing a career out of software engineering. Curtin's educational approach that centers on self-studying and providing our own twist to solutions, coupled with the all sorts of workshops and field visits organized by Curtin Colombo, equipped me with many skills that makes me the perfect fit for the ever-changing software engineering domain. And it's not just the academics that I'm grateful for at Curtin. It's also the numerous extracurricular activities I got to be a part of, serving as the treasurer of the Curtin Colombo Student Guild and mentoring juniors whenever I had my time. I realized just how fulfilling it is to make a difference and how extra special it feels when you're also making a few friends along your way. And this total experience helped me a lot in seamlessly transitioning from a university student into the industrial world. With that all being said, I must say that the celebrations and the achievements that we are celebrating today aren't just our own individual effort. It's a testament and a reflection of all sorts of support and encouragement that we receive from everyone around us. First and foremost, a heartfelt thank you to my family, <laughs> Ami, Tati, and Aki. You guys have been the best. <laughs> thank you for reminding me that it's okay to take a breather sometimes. You guys are my constant reminder that never give up and that hard work can go a long, long way in life. That, and also, <laughs> CCP group one and two. I don't see you guys all, it's all over. You guys are scattered, yes, I see you. Uh, you guys are scattered all over, but our study sessions, that turns into Among Us matches, and our daily, almost daily trips to CCC for the chicken fried rice, our post-lecture carom tournaments that turn some of us into national level talent, and I'm not, confessing to anything here, but some of us might have bunked a few lectures to go play bowling at Excel, or maybe watch a few movies. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But you guys, we knew that we had to work hard, but we also never forgot to play hard. Thank you for all the good memories and the shenanigans. Expressing my deepest gratitude to our wonderful and exceptional panel of lecturers, mentors, tutors, and administrators. Taking that extra time off whenever we had a question, be it during the lecture or after, making sure that there are a few more revision sessions along the way to make sure that we are on top of our game, and just in general, being there to lend an ear or maybe a helping hand. Thank you for all that you've done. Finally, our graduates, Thank you for being a part of this incredible journey. Our stories have been written in the margins of our notebooks and in the lines of our code, 
and cherished in the friendships that we made along the way. I couldn't be more thrilled to celebrate this achievement with you guys. Um, we absolutely, absolutely smashed it. And before I say my final thoughts, I'll end it off with saying this once more. Congratulations, class of 2024. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kasandi. I now invite the Provost, Curtin University Australia, the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor of SLIT to sign the Graduates Register. Thank you. On behalf of SLIT, we would like to present a token of appreciation to His Excellency Paul Stevens. I would like to invite Professor Lalit Gamage, Vice Chancellor of SLIT, to hand over the token of appreciation to His Excellency Paul Stevens. We would also like to present tokens of appreciation to Professor Jeremy Kilburn, Provost of Curtin University. <laughs> Professor Xiaotian Zhang, Deputy Vice Chancellor Global of Curtin University. Thank you. Graduates, thank you for choosing Curtin University and Slit International. It has been our privilege to be part of your education. This concludes the graduation ceremony. Parents and guests, please gather at the courtyard for celebrations. Please stand as the stage party recites. Thank you. <laughs>